Dear students, now we are going to discuss the important questions in the subject EC8652 Wireless Communication. So here the first unit is all about the wireless channels. So here we can have two important topics. The first one is path loss model. So in this we can have two types. One is free space model. The next one is two ray model. So in this path loss models we are going to analyze the received signal strength and the path loss. Okay. So these two models are very important. We can expect any one of the models in the exam. So next link budget design the parameters of the multipath channels so this are the kind of two mark questions so here time dispersion parameters coherence bandwidth coherence time and the doubler spread this are the kind of two mark questions as well as we can expect eight mark question to describe the parameters of multipath fading channels so here we can explain all these three types together for a big question. Okay. The second important topic in this first unit is fading. So here we can have two types of fading. One is large scale fading, small scale fading. So here the small scale fading is an important topic. So we can expect the question from this small scale fading. So in this unit you can concentrate more on the path loss models like free space model and two ray model okay and then you have to concentrate on this small scale fading so here due to multipath delay spread there are two types of fading one is flat fading next one is frequency selective fading so next due to doubler spread there are two types fast fading and slow fading the comparison is also very important in this one okay then we can expect some problems in this first unit. So in this two ray model we can have the problems and to find the path loss and here in this small scale fading also we can have problems to find out the time dispersion parameters okay. Next the second unit is all about cellular architecture. We can divide this unit into two halves. The first half is all about the multiple access techniques, the frequency division multiple access, time division multiple access, co-division multiple access. So definitely one of the questions from this multiple access techniques. The second half is all about the cellular concepts. So cellular concepts are cell structure, frequency reuse, channel assignment, handoff, interference and system capacity trunking and grade of service and coverage and capacity improvement. So in the second half we can expect the question from this handoff. So this is very important one. Then we can expect the question from this frequency reuse concept and this trunking and grade of service. So these are the important topics in this second unit. Okay. Next the third unit digital signaling for fading channels so here we can divide this unit into two halves the first half is all about the shift keying methods here we can have four shift keying methods the first one is qpsk that is quadrature phase shift keying method the next one is pi by 4 differential qpsk minimum shift keying and gaussian minimum shift keying method so definitely we can expect one of the shift keying method from this four methods and also we can expect some problems okay in this shift keying method and the second of is all about OFDM OFDM means orthogonal frequency division multiplexing method so this method is very important you can concentrate more on this topic so definitely there may be one question from this OFDM under this topic we can have cyclic prefix, windowing and PAPR. PAPR means peak to average power ratio. So this OFDM is very important in this third unit. Okay and also this MSK and GMSK in the first half. Okay 
Next, fourth unit is all about multipath mitigation techniques. So in this unit, three topics are important. One is equalization, next one is diversity and the last one is rack receiver. So first, equalization methods. In this one, we can have adaptive equalization, linear and non-linear equalization, zero forcing algorithm and LMS algorithm. There is one more algorithm, MSME algorithm. Okay. So here you can concentrate either on this equalization or this diversity part in this fourth unit. So here zero forcing algorithm and LMS algorithm, these two are very important one. Okay. So the next one is diversity. Here micro diversity is used for small scale propagation. Macro diversity is mainly used for large scale propagation. So there are five types in this micro diversity. Spatial, temporal, frequency, angular and polarization diversity. Okay. So here the macro diversity is having the terms on frequency repeaters and simulcast okay so next this diversity combining techniques is also very important one so and also some problems may be coming from this error probability for different diversity values you'll understand this one and the last one is a rake receiver this question is very 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 important and we can expect this question for university examination so in this fourth unit, we can have three important topics, equalization, diversity and a rake receiver. So you have to concentrate either on equalization or diversity, then you can attend one question. And also this rake receiver is an important big question. Okay. Finally, the fifth unit is multiple antenna techniques. That is MIMO system, MIMO, that means multiple input multiple output systems so these three topics are very important in this unit spatial multiplexing pre-coding and beam forming this all are the concepts used in MIMO systems okay so here we can have the transmitter diversity and receiver diversity under multiple antenna techniques and then channel state information capacity in fading and non-fading channels so here you have to concentrate more on this MIMO system and then you can study this transmitter diversity. This is also very important first in this fifth unit. Okay. So all the very best for your exam. Do well.